What's up guys, my name is Amy and thank you again for joining me. Today, I'm going to be unboxing and setting up my new Western Digital 10 terabyte external hard drive. All right, let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Today, as I said, we're going to be unboxing and setting up my new 10 terabyte Western Digital external hard drive. And I'm gonna be setting it up and reformatting the hard drive so that it is compatible with both Mac and PC. All right, let's get into it. All right, guys, so here is my new Western Digital 10 terabyte external hard drive. Uh, I bought this hard drive because I've run out of room in all of these hard drives that are beside me. So before we unbox it, let me talk to you about all of the different hard drives that I already have and why I needed to buy uh, this little baby. All right, so you can see here that I have these three black uh, Western Digital hard drives. And these are, I think one of them's like 500 uh, gigabytes and then the other two might be one um, terabyte. And these are all full. So I used these initially when I first started storing my photos back in the day when I didn't actually have that many photos on my camera and it, it seemed to work fine and I needed them to be uh, portable so I had them so that I could put them into my iMac and then take them to a PC and then they could be compatible with both Mac and PC so I formatted those so that I could be doing that and then you can see uh, that I have this one up here it just says Amy Louise on it just little stickers these are not Apple as well I just put stickers on them so I know which one's which uh, and then this one's a two terabyte external hard drive by Western Digital uh, that got full really, really quickly. So that's actually from 2016. Uh, that was my 2016 external hard drive for that year. So I seem to be able to buy one per year and get away with having that. So last year, uh, I actually had the orange one. So that was for 2018 and that's completely full. In 2017, I had uh, this red one here. All right, so the blue one's my 2019 external hard drive and that hard drive is compatible with both Mac and PC because I've reformatted it that way. And what I can do is take it to work on my PC computers, plug it into there and then take any of the files off it. And then I can also then bring it home and use it on any of my Macs. Lastly, you can see up here that I have another 10 terabyte external hard drive. And this is uh, the older version of this, which is uh, still Western Digital 10 terabyte, but it's completely full and I can't save anything else on it. So what I have here is four plus four plus four, which is 12. Uh, I think these are one terabyte, so that's 14 terabyte. I think that's only 500 gigabytes and that's another two. So I've got a fair few uh, terabytes of storage here plus i'm going to install my new 10 terabyte hard drive which means that i've got a fair bit of storage so as a creator buying an external hard drive is absolutely not one of those exciting things unfortunately though it's a necessary evil because we want to be able to back up all of our footage and all of our photos so that we can keep a copy of everything so anyway that's enough talking from me let's get this baby open and let's set it up and i'll show you how it goes all right let's get it open And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's open it up now. So this is what it looks like inside. Okay, and we pull it out and that's it. Very simple, okay. So then you just got a little bit of protection on here and this one, we'll chuck those. All right, so this is what it looks like and it's just got plastic over the top. So let's just take the plastic off. Oh, it's nice and shiny. I actually really like the design of this one compared to the other one, which I'll compare in a second. But this looks just like my smaller ones because if you have a look at these, uh, they actually look exactly the same because of the way that they've been designed. I quite like the design and I really like the black ones. And uh, I've got the colourful ones and the old ones because they're just easier to uh, work out what hard drives which. And then also in the box, uh, it comes with a cord here to plug in. So that will go into the back and then that will go in to the computer. So it's a USB three cable into the computer. That's that one. And then we also have a power cord now and the power cord will go from the hard drive into a power outlet and it has to be powered. Okay, so that just goes into the back here. 
and then I will plug that in. All right, so if you have a look here, it's got a HDMI cord and then it just has a 12 volt uh, power cord because it actually has to be plugged in. On the front here, it just has Western Digital here. And then if you look here, it's just got the air vents and then at the bottom as well. So this will just sit on my desktop and then it will just sit with the other one and then I'm going to be having two of them just like that. All right, so that's on the back. All right, and then we turn it to the front and I like how it just has the uh, Western Digital up here and it doesn't have the white writing because I think that looks better without the white writing on there. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it all in and then I'll switch over to my computer and we'll have a look at setting it up. All right, so after you plug it in, you just need to go up to Spotlight, Search and type in Disk Utility. After you've typed in Disk Utility, you'll open it up and you'll notice that it has any other external hard drives that are plugged into your computer. So you can see here that I've actually got my hard drive. We don't want to touch that one. And then you can see here, I've got something called 10 ton Tessie. And that's actually my other external hard drive. I've just renamed it 10 ton Tessie. And this one here is my new external hard drive. So you can see here that it's completely free and there's nothing on it. And the, uh, I have 10 terabytes on there. You can see here that uh, I have almost completely used, well, actually I only have 147 gigabytes free on that external hard drive and I've used 9.8. So you can see on the my book that I've actually got 114 megabytes used already and then I've got 10 terabytes free. So what we need to do is we need to reformat the new hard drive. Make sure that you don't accidentally click on any other external hard drives uh, or on your um, hard drive internal. All right, so once you're ready, click onto your new external hard drive and then come up to erase. After you've clicked on erase, you can see that you can rename your external hard drive. You can see that my other one was 10 ton Tessie, but I'm not really sure what I want to name this one yet. So I'm just going to leave it as my book for now. All right, if we click on the drop down menu, you have lots of different options. If you are using this on a Mac and a PC, you will need to say Mac OS Extended Journal. Uh, that way that you can take it from your uh, Mac at home and then take it to a PC or if you're switching around the other way and then it'll work on both. You can see also that it's on XFAT at the moment. XFAT means it's going to be formatted for Mac. If you put it onto MS-DOS FAT, it means that you can put it on a Mac and a PC. However, it means that it only can have 400 gigabytes at one time. So we know a lot of files are larger than 400 gigabytes and it means that we, uh, if you wanted to transfer any files that were larger than that, then you wouldn't be able to do that at one time. So what I'm going to do is I'm only going to be using this on a Mac and all of my computers are Macs and I'm not going to actually be taking this from my house. So I'm going to leave it on XFAT. What you need to do then is press erase and it will unmount disk and it will redo it. And it says here, do I want to use it for my time machine? And no, I don't want to do that. However, you might like to do that, but I don't. Okay. You can see now if I press on uh, 10 ton Tessie, I still don't have anything. And then on here, now it's using 203 megabytes and I still have 10 terabytes. All right, so after you've erased and you've reformatted, you can come up to partition. And if you do want to change the partition, you can actually uh, switch it over to uh, the MS-DOS fat, or you can go to journaled. And what you can do then is uh, increase here and you can say how many parts that you want. So if you want three parts and they'll be equally divided, and that way you'll have uh, partitions in there. I don't actually want to do that. So I'm just going to keep it as the full 10 terabytes. So I'm just going to click no to that, press cancel and that's done. So what will happen now is I come down here into my finder and you can actually see all of my different files. So I've got uh, my, my book there and my 10, um, 10 ton Tessie. So in that one, I've already got lots of things. And then over here, I have my new, my book, which is there's nothing in there. So if we click on that and we say, get info, and you can see it up here. It means that if you have a look, we don't actually have, uh, we've got 10 terabytes free. And lastly, just a little quick tip, just in case you can't find any of your hard drives and they're not showing up anywhere, you can always come up to uh, preferences and then you can switch on your external hard drives and they'll show up on your desktop. If that's the way you want it, you can also put your CDs uh, and you can put your hard disks on there as well. So that's how you get your external hard drives back onto your desktop. I actually prefer not to have them on there, so I'll click that off. 
but that's just a little quick tip at the end. All right. All right, guys, so that is it. Today we unboxed and set up my Western Digital 10 terabyte external hard drive, and I showed you how you can reformat it for both a Mac and a PC. I'm only gonna be using mine on a Mac, so I just left it at XFAT. Hope this video was helpful, and I hope that you now know how to reformat your hard drives before you start using them. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, head over to my channel and have a look at all of my gear and all of my unboxing videos. If you wanna continue to support me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna see you in my next one.